Hello everyone, I'm Emilio, a PhD student from the Captain Astronomical Institute in Groningen, and in this talk I will present a new method to generate models with physical spectral images. This method is based on the multi-frequency deconvolution, which is very useful for wideband observations, because you can split this band in narrower output channels and fit some function to infer spectral information. Here you see the spectral index map obtained from the standard method, and it doesn't look so good, especially if we look here, we see that errors in the data are absorbed in unphysical adjacent components. To solve this problem, we developed a new method known as force spectrum, which uses spectral index map to force spectral indices of each clean components during the convolution. The obtained model have physical spectral information and also residuals appear more uniform. This is implemented in WSCLEAN and works very well in combination with the multiscale deconvolution. To test this method, we uh, apply it to simulations of 3796. In this case, we have a spectral index map in the beginning, and we use this spectral information to generate a model which is then predicted into an MS file. Then we make images of this file and we compare results from the standard fit of a first order polynomial function and from the four spectrum option. In this plot, we clear, clearly see that the model obtained from the four spectrum option is much more better and also residuals appear more uniform. Then we apply the method also to observations of 3C61.1. In this case, we don't have uh, a previously known spectral index map. So we have to calibrate the data using amplitude values from the literature and we make images and we can extract the spectral index map from those images. Um, you obtain this spectral index map and we input this map into the four spectrum option. Then we can look at the results and residuals appear pretty good, especially in the lobes region, uh, but not in the hotspot where we see some extra fluxes. So we decided to do some self-calibration and uh, this improves the results, especially at the higher frequencies, showing that models obtained from the four spectrum method can benefit calibration of radio interferometric data. So uh, feel free to ask me any question on Slack and stay tuned for the paper. Thank you.